Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more EU for the Three Mountains. Playing as Ryukyu, of course. Alright, we've expanded our holdings a little bit here in the Saudi Arabian region. Uh, doing okay here in Africa. Making a push into India as well. So now we need to be thinking about some more long-term expansion. I really do need to either fight Castile or if there's anything I can do to encourage, let's say, New Castile to declare independence, that would be good. Best thing to do there is actually just fight Castile and make them weak. I'm a little concerned about their colonial empire. That, that is a lot of Castilian uh, colonial nations that are contributing a lot of troops. New Castile has like 55,000 troops by themselves. Like, it is a lot. So we do need to be thinking about ways to mess with them. I at some point will want to attack the Ottomans, but I'd rather use them temporarily against, say, I don't know, Russia. Take as much out as we can there, get Russia super duper weak. At least release a few nations out of Russia so they're easier to break apart later. And then once the Ottomans eventually get sick of my aggressive expansion, then I think we have to take them on. Uh, we do need to go ahead and unseach a couple of provinces here so I can release Warsongali. We also have the looming disaster on the way, court and country. And this happens once you have enough absolutism, which, uh, you know, we do have quite a bit right now. 70 is not half bad. Uh, if we wanted to get three stability, we could make this go away. So that is a temporary solution. Um, alternatively, we just let it happen. I mean, if our unrest, national unrest is less than one, like, that's not so bad. But with war exhaustion and overextension being what it is, that's pretty bad. Now we're going to hand off a lot of War Song Galee stuff, so a lot of this will fix itself, but the war exhaustion needs to tick down. There's a lot of ways for me to prevent this from firing, especially at a time we have so much admin power right now. Um, but if we let it fire, it's 10 years, I think, minimum, of 20% uh, less national taxes, goods produced, and we lose some maximum absolutism, which is terrible. But, 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 uh, if we win, and we should be able to win, we can get an extra, like, 20 maximum absolutism. We will absolutely get to the 100 cap. This is the way of getting a lot of extra absolutism cap. If you want to do it. Do we want to do it? Little different question. Uh, Champa's apparently gotten a little strong. Fun. Uh, we should spy on Lan Shang with the intention of killing them, though they are still allied to uh, Ming. Can we threaten war with a few people? Probably. Um, I think I am going to just boost the stability and not worry about court and country right now. There are times when we might need this. But right now, when I'm still trying to expand aggressively, may not be the right time. Jean Poor is trying to kill somebody. Okay. So, uh, since that's what they want to... Hey, do unto others as you would have them do to you. That's like a thing. Okay? There you go. So, Manipur. Can't threaten a war because we have a truce for at least a little bit longer. Um, Kalundwe, would you just simply give up? Turn it. I'm kind of hoping for a way to get to war with them. I could, I could get a claim... I was just really hoping we could just force a war. Boo. Um, I would like to make Huai my vassal. And I'm going to offer them an alliance and start working on that. That should be relatively easy to do. Uh, I also wonder if maybe we should try to annex somebody else like Brunei. Said we wanted to do this earlier. We'd have to try and make them like me a little bit more. What's this? Oh gosh dang it, now France has some land down here. Ah, this is a problem with the Dharma expansion, is like, Eastern powers can just sell off little provinces to colonial things, and now I have to worry about France having aggressive expansion. Gosh dang. Alright, well, whatever, it is what it is. Um, I don't think... I think we're going to declare war on Yemen next. They're already dying to Hormuz. Hormuz, by the way, is allied to Delhi, which does make things a little awkward for the future. <clears throat> uh, but Yemen's an easy target, so I think we should take them on. I don't think I have time to wait for a claim with Kalundwe, so that may just have to happen later. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and threaten the war. Let's get, let's say, um, Tabwa. Let's just do this one. Okay. So we'll threaten that. Are we paused? Okay, good. Uh, a couple more things just affected away from Ming. Good. End of internal conflicts for Ming. What the heck? Oh, come the heck on! Wait, no, this is good! Oh, okay, so internal conflicts just ended, and it automatically just gave up all the land. As much as it could, as many separatists had already risen up, because they were broken. Okay, so the internal conflicts actually worked really well to my advantage there. So Ming's not dead exactly, but they are pretty darn weak compared to where they were. 
and I'm looking a heck of a lot better all of a sudden now, ain't I? Hoorah. Okay, we need to make these guys like me so we can make them into a vassal. Um, we also need to go to war with Ming again and get them to break even further. Because that's still more land that needs to go away. Some of it does not go to any of these vassals, so I would have to take it myself and or hand it off. See, the Yang, for example, did not manage to siege down this, so when the internal conflicts ended, they didn't get this, even though they do have a core on it. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, this is a pretty nice turn of events. Uh, we can get to war with Ming anytime I want. I just need to fight somebody. No, I don't need that. Thank you, though. Deny it. Yes, okay. I just want to make sure I read that correctly for a second. Uh, let's unsiege this. I will try to annex Brunei as well if I can. Well, wait. Do I care about that? What about Uzbek? Like, if I got Uzbek down as well, that'd be pretty easy for me to just, like, go and fight Afghanistan. But we already will be able to fight Yarkhan and Transoxiana. Do I have a claim against Yarkhan? No, of course I don't. Uh, we should spy on them because that's another target. Still a uh, tributary of Ming. And... Do I want to annex anybody else? At this stage. Because I, I can't get claims against Sukhothai right now. Which is a problem. But is that, is that the only real problem? Kind of right now, yeah. I mean, maybe against these guys in the future, but for now, I think we're all right. Um, okay, I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess we could try to take down Brunei, but I don't think it really matters that much, but, um, yeah, we'll try. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and do that. I don't think it'll take too long to annex them entirely. So let's get their relations nice and high. Madurai? Okay. So the only province over here that I wanted to core is honestly this one. I'm going to get rid of the fort. Let's core you. The rest we will end up handing off to Warsongali. Who we should be able to release now, since I am currently overextended. Uh, well, I say that, and then this gets sieged. Hang on. Get a general in charge. Uh, let's force march to get faster reinforcements, if you please. There we go. Sukhothai has rivaled Ming, because they're allowed to do that, because Ming is super-duper weak. Splendor! Alright, I have the admin efficiency, and I have the absolutism. Harsh treatment can be pretty good. I think that's going to be best for me right now. I don't really use autonomy change. I don't need fort maintenance. Change rival cost is useless to me, and we're not going to use edicts much, so let's do that. Okay. Yeah, rebels broke Ming. Well done, guys. Meow is attacking people. Okay, so China's trying to consolidate. I think it's interesting that Beijing is still the emperor of China, considering that they are, you know, obviously inferior and incapable of holding it. Come on, take it. Okay, Mutapan separatists have fired in Sofala. Uh, we do have an army sort of in position. Let's go kill them. Now, Warsongali, I can release you. So we're going to get rid of you, and then feed you some more land. Um, what? Oh, wait, did I hit the wrong interaction? I think I did. Yeah, not core and claim. Sorry, Grant Province. There we go. Hafun. Bosasso. Togged here. Sanag, Sanag, Berbera, and finally, this one. Okay. So that's another daimyo, looking a lot stronger over here. Excellent. Manchu became a tributary of Ming. Manchu exists? Well, hello. You shouldn't be allowed to be a thing. That's silly. Royal marriage. Um, we are actually very close to getting a government reform. <sighs> Minimum autonomy in territories, minus 10% seems pretty nice to me. I don't really need more states. It's not that I don't have states, it's that I'm not really going to take much advantage of them. 
Okay. Well, there's the Royal Marriage with them. Brunei. I'm going to influence you for pretty cheap. Huai became a tributary of Ming. Ha 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 ha. No, sir, am I going to allow that? Not a chance. Don't be ridiculous. They're going to be my vassal. Rangaku. Okay, the current incidents, foreign spy detection, institution spread. I think I'd rather not have that. This doesn't seem important. Wu is attacking people now. Okay. Uh, well then, Wu. Enjoy it while you can. Thank you. Brunei. Begin the annexation process. Okay. We do need to build up... Well, we have a bunch of heavies over here. Where's my main combat navy? We also have a free uh, merchant that I'm doing nothing with. Hang on. We have a lot of control here in Beijing. Most of it flowing out. I'm going to collect here. Where's my combat navy? There you are. So you, sir... Just dock up here for now. Actually, all of you, yeah. Come over here as well. I do want to build up some more transports. So we'll do, let's say, 25. Build them here, I guess. 25 is about my average stack for this stage of the game. Okay, we got a few rebels that are thinking about firing, but right now we're alright. Um, what else am I missing? Oh, right, land's over here that I haven't cored. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and core that. There we go. And we have our vassal in Madurai. So that is currently the extent of my influence by 1654. Not too shabby. I would say. Let's get some reinforcements over this direction. So, yeah, fighting Castile probably ne is my next big goal. Look at everyone in China wanting to fight each other. Makes me happy. I'm gonna placate you twice, kill you, divert trade. What's a little prestige? I can get prestige in, like, no time flat. Wait for these guys. Nope. Okay, we get the defensive terrain with the numbers. Integrating Chagatai, done. Okay. So that's now finished. So I'm still at peace. I don't have any claims against Transoxiana. Do I want to fight Transoxiana? You're allied to Yarkan, so if I do this, I will have to fight them and Ming. Whereas if I just threaten a war on you right now, for example, for on behalf of, I don't know, Kazakh. I'll fight you anyway once I attack Yarkand. So let's just get the free lands out of them. Truce with Manipur ended? Good. Let's see if we can get even more. You refuse. Alaskan Separatists in Pomo. Well, hello. I shall assist. Alright, what was it doing? So Manipur is allied to Lansheng, Ming, and Sukhothai. We could attack them if we also want to get them into a war with Ming. Lansheng, I'm actively getting a claim against right now. Lansheng is only a tributary of Ming. Ming I have a truce with, so I can't really do anything against them at the moment. But obviously, we do want to make them fall apart. Huai, uh, I am going to send you money. 25 more opinion that way. No, I don't need knowledge sharing. I mean, I, I appreciate it, but I really don't need it. I'm so far ahead of time on tech right now. Who cares? I'm actually sort of surprised that you have a manufactory. So Brunei's already being annexed. Uh, is there anyone else we need to be spying on? Think, 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 think. Mongolia. I do not have a claim against you still. You would not be willing to become a vassal. Uh, so we do need to spy on you. 
Let's go ahead and just start working on claims. Building up that manpower pool a little bit. Um, Bushi? No. Could demand some admin support. I will recruit a minister. And then demand and then make a donation. I will grant New World Charters and then demand Diplo. And they're going to be upset for a little bit. But that's fine with me. Especially if I gave them something with good production values. Perhaps something like that. So where do I want to train up some more troops? We know we want to go kill Kalundwe. I know I want to go kill Yemen. Do I want to go kill Yemen now? I guess while they're super weak is a pretty good time. Possibly rush in here, grab some stuff while Hormuz does their thing. You've only got one ally. Is there anything else that I need to do that I can't do while I'm at war? Like subject interactions. Cascadia, it looks like, was able to finish off a lot of this. Can we get, let's say, Ryukyu and Columbia to finish off Alaska, since that should not be a thing? Yes. Okay, we'll do that. So Portugal's going to lose a lot of their influence over here, which is very, very good. It's really not Portugal I'm concerned about, although Brazil is a thing. It's all about that Castile. If Portugal is an idiot and establishes, say, a colonial nation in Australia, I'll just let Australia kill them. Oh, Malacca. You are another person I want to kill. So why don't we fight Malacca and Yemen at the same time? Okay, wait to the beginning of the month. Claim up here. It's unfortunate, but not a big deal. Uh, let's start moving an army down over here, though I don't think Malacca is going to be much of a threat. Especially with my tributary nations. So I... Ooh, Bengal. I forgot about you. Right. I don't have a truce with Bengal. You're allied to Delhi. But this is a way of me fighting Bengal without worrying about Delhi and maybe make them break off that relationship so I get freed up. So I'm not going to co-belligerize. This seems fine. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit bigger of a war than I anticipated. You guys are going to start heading up this way toward Bengal. You guys are going to take a general and also go toward Bengal. I got to keep track of all my armies is another thing. And then, yeah, here in Yemen, I think we just kill them. I have to wait a few days. Hang on. I forget that you can't just declare simultaneous wars, which seems like a silly arbitrary restriction to me. Come on. There we go. We have a truce? Wait, since when? Excuse me? I guess we can't kill Yemen. Why do we have a truce? <clears throat> There's no easy way for me to fight Hormuz. Can I call Delhi in on this? Because they're in debt, they say no. What if I paid off your debt? Now I can call them into arms against Bengal. Perfect. So we'll finally get to use some of those favors. And then instead, we just declare war on Hormuz. Dunskis. All right, I like this. Seems like a good plan. Use that fleet. You take a different general, I guess. I don't know. And you can't go anywhere, actually. Hey, Yemen, can I have military access, please? Please and thank you. Cool. Can we go this way? I can't so long as Hormuz has this fort, huh? Well, I can go this way, then. All right. I like this plan. Seems to be working fine. Bengal is uh, currently black flagged and mass. I'm going to go ahead and tell the vassals that they are allowed to be aggressive again. Because we're no longer waiting on a Ming Plosion, so I'm not worried about accidentally hitting things I'm not supposed to. Uh, currently cannot make Huai into a vassal. But I will instead spend some time improving relations with them for free. We can always send them more gifts and stuff later. 
So you guys are going to head up toward Bengal. You can try to deal with Malacca. He's not going to have a lot. Okay, this all seems reasonable. Columbia should be able to win this, no problem. We're going to go and put down the Alaskan rebels. We may need a force march, try to avoid some more years of separatism. We can catch them, though. Perfect. Okay, so the Alaskan separatists are going to die. Only one province with extra years of separatism. Ultimately, not that bad. Comanche I want to kill as well. Can I get a claim on you even though I don't actually own any of this? I can't really remember if that's a thing or not. We're going to try it. Let's do an experiment. It's been a while since I've had to mess with any of that. Alright, Malacca actually has a reasonable number of troops. But I don't think they're going to be able to hold against me for long. Especially since I have Palembang and Pasai already over here. Jeanpour for some reason is down here. That was pretty quick. Uh, I need another general. Starting at the bottom this time, I guess. No. No. Definitely no. 5140. 2230. 411. 2561 will do just fine. Put you in charge. And we'll start making a push on their capital. If we can catch out their army, so much the better. They are running away. Internal conflicts in Timbuktu. Let's see. I'm going to allow you people to stack on me if you want. Can we stack wipe this before his reinforcements arrive? Answer is yes. So now he's locked and I get the defensive terrain. In the jungle. He gets a minus two penalty. Easy mode. Okay. Go to the fort. Malacca's going to die. Uh, we could start pushing up on Bengal this way. So let's do that. Attack from the south. You guys need to go get some forts. We will assist over... Delhi's going to handle a lot of this for me, honestly. Let's just go grab a few random choke points. Any major states that I want to get? South Zungaria. Really? Alright. Core it. It's cheap as freaking heck. Not a very good state. Yeah, I don't have a... I just... I just I'm not a state guy in this case. This is not a game for statage. To that extent, you know, going for the admin ideas might seem like a mistake, but they actually are still pretty good. Very close to getting our government reform. You guys may now go and siege down Hormuz. Yemen should survive this now. And I want to get to the Straits of Hormuz up here. We'll need our navy for that. So let's kind of inch forward. Definitely would like to take this. It would give me some options as far as Transoxiana, Afghanistan, and Kara. The good old QQ. QQ! You are taking unnecessary attrition. Back it up. I am not spying on Kalundwe, and I meant to. Hmm... I'm going to go ahead and pull off of Hawaii. I think I can easily get um, the relations I need with them as soon as we're no longer at war. So let's build this spy network up. Worst come to worst, we can always threaten them again. And this time they should say no. But if I can have proper claims, it's easier to control who joins in on wars and stuff. Okay, that finishes up a siege. Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. Uh, let's just kind of scare Bengal away. The Hindu zealots in... Tripura have been a problem for a very long time, apparently. There's the Siege of Maleka. So Malacca's dead already. I will assist. I cannot. Your navy's too strong still. I'm surprised how strong it is, but Pasai and Palembang should be able to handle the rest. There goes another freaking general. Breaks my heart. Breaks my heart every dang time. 2420. No. No. 252 is pretty good. That's even better. 4361. Boom. I'd also like to support more rebels in Ming. 
What, um... Oh, Yi's doing... I forgot. I was going to say, what are you fighting currently? But yeah, Yi is actually attacking somebody else. We'll go ahead and do a few more conversions, I suppose. Never hurts to have a little bit more religious unity. I forgot that's a um, wasteland. That's not actually a province. You go over here. Ming is no longer even worth being called a world power. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. So we're standing very clearly at the top at the moment. It is pretty much exclusively European powers from here on out. Which I suppose is good because in theory that means uh, I should be more or less uncontested in my push to get to Europe. There's nobody strong to contend against me. At the same time, it means that Europe's pretty strong and scary. Uh, Yemen. I don't think I gave you permission to siege this, but okay. Let's go siege all of this. I need to get to Hormuz. Send my navy. Scare them away. Cross. Also need to get to Luristan, who did not join. They did not. I forgot. They are allied to Yemen, not to Hormuz. Okay. Loyal subjects expires. Uh, more Diplo rep, I suppose. Sure, do that. Strengthen, strengthen. I'm gonna leave it alone for a second. We're starting to run a little bit lower on military power. We are, well, we're six years ahead of time on tech, but... I might want to put down some rebels instead. Like Brunei, for example. I'm surprised that Brunei even still has it. My war exhaustion is proving to be a little annoying. This is one of the reasons I kind of like the idea of getting innovative. Uh, because that optimism means that I will be able to continue fighting for a good long time. Armed professionalism is nice and all, but I'm not going to sack that much money and upset France over it. It's just not worth it to me. Okay. Uh, so Hormuz is going to die pretty easy. Especially since they have zero friendage. So we are still spying on three people. I might need more diplomats at some point, too. Honestly. Still can't cross and do anything here. You're unseaging from the Pretender Rebels. I can cross now over here, though. So let's go kill the Rebels for them. Siege of Hormuz was actually over with a 7% chance. That was pretty quick. All right, I guess I'll grab the Natural Harbor. Uh, dock up real quick. I don't want to... Well, I guess we're going to fight. Didn't really care to, but... Whatever, he's got to run. There is an island here, but it has no fort, so that's fine. Hormuz, how strong are you? Only barely too strong uh, for us to turn into a daimyo, which would also have been ideal. Alas. Not an option. Alright, so this war, is it only 73%? Oh, that's because we lost this fort now that uh, Yemen finished their war. Right. Let's bring these troops back, because I see him bringing in reinforcements. Lost an advisor. I'll take the cheap national unrest guy. Brings my national unrest to minus two right now, so I'm actually not at any threat for court and country. At the moment. Very close to my government reform. Admin tech. Sounds fun and all. Californian separatists. Ooh. Build some more temples, at least a couple of them. Some good production values over there. Trade, a couple that are okay there. Some good barracks for more manpower. Manpower absolutely has been my primary bottleneck in this game. No doubt about it. I guess I need to just go ahead and build a couple more um, universities and stuff around my states. Place a couple over there. This one up there, I guess. Build one there, because I'm planning on annexing that in a moment anyway. It's kind of it at the moment. Okay. Yeah, Hormuz, why don't you come over here? Idjit. Extreme Monsoon! Meh. Die, Hormuz. Thank you. Go Kaido! 
Provincial trade power and a lot of taxes for 10 years. All right. I think that might ultimately end up paying for itself. Let's not take a loan, though, because loans are dumb. We got a bit of corruption. I think he's going to run up there, but I can't really get to him at the moment. So instead, we're just going to sit over here for the moment and get this fort. Let's siege it down. Blockade, sorry. Mater military access from Castile. Nope. I don't like Castile, so I feel no inclination to assist them in virtually anything they do. Ever. Uh, let's even go kill Malacca's troops. Now, I could make Malacca into a daimyo. No, I can't. They're still too strong, shockingly enough. Well, I think I'm just going to end up feeding them to somebody. Lost claims against the Ottomans. That's fine. You arrive on the 18th, I arrive on the 16th. So we can kill him here. Malacca is going to get killed over there as well now. Okay, we're a little over our time. Wu has apparently grown quite a bit stronger. Sure enough. About to finish up with Brunei at least. So this is finally going to be done. Catholic Zealots. Alright. And Brunei is mine. So we should be able to turn all that into a state. Hello. And just then, the Brunei Separatists decide to fire. Because of course they did. Alright. I may need some transport assistance here. The vassals are easily handing, handling Bengal. This war is effectively done. So I guess now is indeed a good time to go ahead and pull back. Can we get our claim against Comanche? Yes. How about Chinook? Don't need any more claims at the moment. So, Bengal. What can I do to you? You know what? We'll figure that out in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I hope you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.